raid coupled with some very serious allegations are the new normal for Diddy. And that's the focus of the new TMZ special, The Downfall of Diddy, now on Tubi. It includes several interviews, including surprising comments from Suge Knight talking about the star. I'm not the type of guy to cheer for people's downfall. And if somebody get killed or something happens to them, I'm not going to pop champagne bottle. And if I have a problem with, with Puppy, that's a human eye to sit down in a room and resolve it. So for, for the tragedy on both sides, the victims to him, that's definitely not nothing to cheer about. All right, joining us now is Harvey Levin. Harvey, I mean, I think that, you know, when I first heard about this, it was pretty shocking, but but we had, we did hear about a lot of allegations involving uh, P. Diddy throughout the years. I mean, so I guess in some circles it wasn't all that surprising. It wasn't surprising in most circles. Mm -hmm. um, people have talked about this for a long, long time. Um, and the opposite of talking about it is what's going on now. Hollywood is radio silent on Diddy. It is really shocking. The people talking are Aubrey O'Day, who has been talking, talked to us and really said some pretty shocking things. Um, and, you know, people like Suge Knight, who we got in prison, which he surprised me. But when you look at all the big stars, I mean, he had everybody coming to his parties. None of them are talking. None of them are speaking out. They're supporting, they're not supporting him, they're not going after him, they're saying nothing. And one of the things we get into is, why is that? Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a combination of people wanting to see which way the wind is blowing, and maybe also the fact that, you know, Diddy had a lot of these parties that a lot of them went to, and there may be some concern among some of them. Well, I know one of the allegations was that he had cameras set up in each room of his of his home. When I, when I first heard about this, I, it it honestly did remind me a lot of the allegations that happened against Jeffrey Epstein and and the tentacles there. He been protected and insulated by a lot of very famous and very powerful people. I think that's right, Jen. And again, you know, there may be people who are afraid just because they were at parties. It doesn't mean they did anything bad. But, you know, everybody is just, it's just really kind of stunning how silent Hollywood is because Hollywood can be very quick uh, to cancel somebody just based on an untested allegation. Here, they're saying nothing. I find it interesting. I do want to say one other thing. Um, Aubrey O'Day called us out, and I think she was right. Um, and and she, there were other people that she called out as well. When, if you remember a couple of months ago, um, Diddy gave his public uh, publishing rights back to a lot of the artists that he had. And everybody was saying, oh, this, including us, uh, this is great. You know, he's kind of taking the cue from Taylor Swift. Um, what Aubrey O'Day said is, we all got played that she had the contract, which we've now seen. And in return for getting literally a pittance of money, she got $300. Um, she had to sign an NDA. By the way, she did not sign this, but I've seen the contract. An NDA buying silence, essentially. That's not necessarily a noble thing to do, but everybody got kind of snookered on this, including us. Mm. Tonight on the special outside of Suge Knight and Aubrey O'Day, who else will you be talking to? We talked to Stevie J, who actually, you know, he was at the raid in Miami when it went down. And he kind of gives us an inside look uh, at what was going on you know, with Diddy, um, both before and after the raids. Uh, but also we've talked to people who work for Diddy. Um, we talked to people who just know a lot about this. And um, I think what you're gonna find, I, I really, what we, what we really tried to do, and I, I think succeeded, this is not a hit piece, it's a balanced piece on what is going on in Diddy's world right now and what went on and what the consequences might be. Um, and this is on Tubi right now, it's streaming. I think it's, I think you'll find it really interesting. Well, you know, you have, you have the court of public opinion and you also have him personally and his world. Has there been a distance there between uh, Diddy and the people who he used to call associates and friends and, and the like? 
I, I don't know the answer to that, Jen. I mean, I don't know how many people are contacting Diddy, um, saying we support you, mm -hmm. we embrace you, we don't like you. I don't know. I do know publicly it's been crickets. Um, but in terms of who he is interacting with, I'll have a, I'll take a guess because I know the way Hollywood works that a lot of the people who are really close to Diddy uh, are ghosting him now. Mm -hmm. What is the path forward for him? Well, look, I mean, there's a federal rate, there's a federal investigation going on, and um, I think it's going to take some time. And I don't think it's certain that the feds are going to file charges. They know what the allegations are. If they're going to file, they better be right. Because if they're not right, they're going to be humiliated if he gets acquitted and they, and, they, and they charge him. So I think they're still looking at all the computer records. And that's going to lead to a lot of witness interviews. And then they're going to have to decide, is there a case? Because when it comes to sex trafficking, it's not just that you bring people across state lines for the purpose of sex. You have to show some element of coercion, mm -hmm. of force, of doing something against somebody's will. And that's a whole other step. Even if they find flight records, that doesn't mean it's sex trafficking. So the feds have their work cut out for them, and I do think uh, this will take months at the very least. Yeah, and who knows what the ripple effects of this will be. Harvey, yeah. thank you. My pleasure, guys. And be sure to check out TMZ Presents The Downfall of Diddy, streaming now for free on Tubi.